battle of the tape for this heavyweight matchup. The American, one year the elder of the Brit, five inches taller, he will have a four inch reach advantage. Weight pretty close at 255 and 261. Here is Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Josh Rosenthal. The veteran Josh Rosenthal, our referee for this first of two heavyweight matchups featuring some true knockout artists here tonight at Pepsi Center. Brown and Broughton. And here we go. Big swing by Hoppe early in the white trunks. The bear in the black trunks and a heavy leg kick to the left thigh of Rob Broughton. Really up on his toes with his footwork is Travis Brown. Yeah, like I said, he's one of the most agile heavyweights in the division. Big swing and a miss again with the right hand. He's got brought up against the cage. Ron would probably like this. He probably would like to clinch. Maybe get this fight to the ground. Both men trying to throw some knees. When you talk about Broughton's tournament win, you know, over all those tough fighters, tournaments are so incredibly taxing on a fighter and really test their mental resolve. And that shows you what kind of a tough guy that Broughton is. There's nothing like those tournaments, you know. It's, it's a good thing that we don't do them anymore, but when, when you see him, when you, you know, you see a guy push through three tough fights in one night, it's really an accomplishment. Well, years ago in the tournament format, Hoist Gracie defeated Kimo, but he had taken such a toll out of Gracie in their battle that Hoist wasn't able to continue. And, and now, as you know, Joe, since we first were here in 93, what a difference in the entire sport, the athleticism, and the high level of fighters in the UFC. Beautiful leg kick there by Travis Brown. Yeah, the only time you see real tournaments now is K1. K1 still does it, but it's with kickboxing, which is you know, obviously different than MMA. But uh, it's, oh. it's real hard to find a good MMA tournament these days. And, and the unified rules, they do not allow that anymore. Lead left tried to come from an awkward angle and throw an uppercut on Rob the Bear Broughton. In his fight against Vinicius Quiroz, he was punished a bit early, but he wore him out as the fight went on and earned the victory late in the fight with about a minute and a half left in the third. Travis keeps his hands very low, Mike. You notice how he's doing that? Yep. Real, real relaxed with his stance, but keeping that low guard like that, he, he is inviting punches. Pardon me, early in the third round was when he finished that fight. And we'll see what Broughton has here. Punch to the midsection misses. Just past the midway point of round one. Unbeaten Hawaiian, Travis Brown against Rob the Bear Broughton. Oh, big kick. Nice counter left by Broughton. Low inside leg kick by Broughton. Tried to follow it up with a right hand. Big swing. Broughton is having a hard time finding Travis Brown. Closing that distance. And Brown, as you said, so light on his feet. And that's something, you know, really we should see from more heavyweights. It's just you have to be in really incredible condition to be able to fight like that at 260 pounds. And he has the reach advantage, and he's trying to stay right out of harm's way. Got clipped there by a right hand from Broughton. Just over 90 seconds on the clock, round one. You can never count Broughton now. Trying to work the clinch right in front of our broadcast position. He releases back to the center of the octagon. He's using that low leg kick to the shin, the left shin of Travis Brown, and he's going to want to follow it up with a big right hand as he did earlier. Broughton, I tell you, Mike, is very good at moving away from shots. He's rolling his chin as the shots come at him, so he takes away a lot of the impact. That one caught him clean. Oh, looking for the flying knee. Followed it up with a Superman punch. Big athletic heavyweight, very light on his feet, as Joe and I have talked about. Five inches taller than Rob Broughton. Remember, we talked so much in that Strew fight. It was 6'7 versus 6'11. One of the taller fighters in the heavyweight division is the Hawaiian. 
30 seconds on the clock now. Again with that inside leg kick. He's trying to get Brown off guard, have him drop his guard. And Brown easily takes Brought down and into full mount. Wow. Very quick. A beautiful elbow. Let's see if he can finish it here, Joe. 15 seconds left in the round. Full mount for Brown. Back to half guard goes Broughton. Broughton's trying to tie him up here. Not much time left for Brown to work. But he shows Broughton. He is absolutely not afraid of the grappling. Well, Travis Brown in that first round, Joe, not only showed his good footwork, but his very heavy leg kicks. Yeah, he's got some great technique with his leg kicks as well as his punches. And does a great job of utilizing that distance. And here's a nice uppercut. Sort of a, a hook uppercut, a shovel punch, right to the jaw of Broughton. And that's it. there you see how much Broughton can take it. Wow, that was a great round. You really ended it well. That was good. Okay, listen. Oh, you're already back. Let's get back. Second. Okay, so listen. Set up the punches. I need you ending on that leg kick a ton. You hear me? And then do the exact same thing. Switch that single down and goes. Okay? Punches, leg kick, finish this guy off. And you've got your back on the fence, you need the underhooks and on the floor. Look for the underhook, yeah? Let's go. Same trainers who prepared Quentin Rampage Jackson from the Wolf Slayer Academy with Rob Broughton. Greg Jackson in the corner of Travis Brown. Always entertaining, but always very precise with his instructions to his fighters. Wants every combination to finish with the leg kick. Double jab misses not once but twice. Broughton having a hard time getting inside. And again, he goes to that inside leg kick. That time, Brown saw it coming, and again, a front kick of his own. And those long legs make him extremely dangerous with those front kicks, Joe. Good head movement. Brown getting more comfortable. Oh, beautiful leg kick. And I like how he set it up with the hands, Mike. Yes. And then also, when you start with the hands, Joe, it gets the shoulders turning, and it just adds to the torque in your hips on those kicks. He's got to be careful when he throws that right hand, though, Mike, because he throws it, and when he misses, he leaves himself open for a right-hand counter, but Broughton hasn't timed it correctly yet. But Brown is wide open when he's missing, wide open and stepping into the power of Broughton's right hand. Nice that shot nice to, the body. to the body. Just over three and a half now on the clock here in the second round. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Again with that nice leg kick. Uh-oh. Oh, he got caught. And he's able to get away. Switches his stance. Both men with single punch or kick knockout power. And as much as he may be in command in this fight, Travis Brown knows that. He's well aware of it. Yeah, oh, he's absolutely got to be careful. Yeah. He's teeing off on Broughton now. Nice knees, good clinch. Oh, that one connected. Oh, these are brutal. Got a couple to the jaw of the bear, Rob Broughton. The but first again, couple, Joe, sorry, were to the body, and then he railed him a couple of times. And you cannot overemphasize how tough Rob Broughton is. This yeah. dude can take it. It's a, it's a good test for Travis in that regard. What happens when you hit a guy with your best shot and he's still there? He has overcome so many challenges in life as he looks to win again tonight. Just past the midway point of this three-round fight, Broughton tried to land the elbow. Big, heavy right hand by Brown. Broughton tough to throw around. They're right in front of us here. Travis has got brought and pinned up against the cage, but he's not really doing anything to him here. You know, this shows the relative inexperience of Travis. Really should be working him over with knees to the legs when he's got him pinned up like this. Randy Couture style. We've talked about it many, many times, but 
if a young fighter wants to learn what to do when you've got a guy clinched up against the cage. Watch some of Randy's fights, particularly the Gonzaga fight. Constantly makes guys work. His leg kicks are landing hard now, Mike. Working that front thigh of Rob Broughton. Started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at 23 years old. Started training in San Diego with Joey Beltran and Jason Lambert. Played one year of college basketball, did the Hawaiian. But he has found a home full time as a mixed martial artist. 11 0 1. Travis looks like he's starting to get tired to me, Mike. And Rob Broughton is closing the distance. Well, in the fight, There's when Broughton takedown. won, he was punished early and then he wore out his opponent. That's a bad again. spot, though. Easy takedown, yeah. easy full mount for Travis Brown. And a bit more time to work with it this time, Joe. 45 seconds remain He's in the round. choking him with his thumb. I don't know if Josh Rosenthal could see that because I don't believe that that's legal to pinch down on the windpipe like that. Now he's got the, the right thumb tucked. Yeah, it was, it was kind of shielded from Josh's view. Heavy ground and pound. He's got his back here as well. But he's got to be careful of his left arm. Broughton is trying to get a Kimura on that left arm. And again, Broughton's very skilled with submissions. If he can roll under, he's holding the arm in place with his right, but he does not have the left overhook secured. Oh, he eats a big uppercut. Final Mike. seconds of the round, hammer fists. Big heavy punches landed by Travis Brown. He drops his back and gets double overhooks to protect himself. Travis is tired, Mike. Took some big deep breaths here at this altitude. He's feeling it. Put your hands on my shoulders. Calm down. Listen to me. Keep breathing. Oh, you just think about breathing. Listen to me. Stand in. Hold him back. I see it all. One, two. One, two. Take the guy down. All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. This is the nasty leg kick by Travis Brown, but, you know, really didn't land enough of those. Here you see him land a nice straight right hand and another short right hand behind it and another left hook and a right hand again. And here's the knees. And here, Travis took him down easily, mounted him, got his back, and was really pounding on Rob Broughton. One tough Brit, though, is Rob Broughton. Gentlemen, last round. Let's fight. Five minutes remain in this fight. Let's see what Broughton has left. As Joe pointed out, Brown breathing a little heavy here in the altitude a mile high at Pepsi Center in Denver. Yeah, Broughton is very fresh. He's, he's putting it to him. Travis is not forward. Travis not on his toes like he was as much earlier. Yeah, there he's Broughton. dancing a little bit. There's a good left hook by Broughton. Travis has to be careful here. Broughton always dangerous. And Travis is taking some big deep breaths, Mike. Look at him. His mouth is wide open, and he's not engaging. Much more in retreat mode, at least here early. And that may very well be as much of him trying to catch his breath as anything else. Well, he has no feeling of desperation. He believes he's ahead two rounds to one, or to, excuse me, two rounds to none, as do I. Oh, yeah, big right, right hand. hand. But again, Broughton just eats it and presses forward. Knee in the thigh area of Travis Brown is the bear. If Broughton can get this fight to the ground and get on top of Travis, things can get very interesting. He's very well-rounded, Joe. He's got six wins by knockout and five by submission. 15 overall. Every time Travis gets that leg, he takes him down easily. Oh, big right hand. Side control. I'm, I'm shocked at how easily he takes him down. Back in the half guard now. Travis obviously has been working on his wrestling, but man, that's a, uh, I mean, it's it's just a uh, 100% every time he grabs a leg. And interesting, too, that Broughton is a pretty strong wrestler, and he likes to grapple, which is not your stereotypical British fighter. They usually lead with the hands first. Well, they're changing. Yes. You know, the wrestling is uh, really making its way into British mixed martial arts is the one thing that they're missing because they really don't have it in high school. In, in college, it's not offered as a sport, so a lot of Brits don't grow up like Americans do wrestling all the time, or Russians do, or, or some of the other countries where wrestling is prominently featured. And we've said time and time again, it is one of the most important aspects of mixed martial arts, if not the most important. I believe it's the most important. 
dictates where the fight takes place if you have strong wrestling. Chuck Liddell used it in reverse to put himself in the UFC Hall of Fame. You know, Travis has got to go to work here, you know, because look, Travis has, you know, said before this fight, he believes he's a top 10 heavyweight in the world. He needs a more spectacular performance than this. And there he goes. He moves into, you know, almost in the mount here. Kind of a side mount with that foot still stuck. It's really what we call three-quarter mount. His yeah. ankle's still stuck in that position. He can take the back here if he knows how to do it. And he's trying. Yeah. He's basically got it. He needs to take that over-under hook. Can't let go of that over-under hook or Broad's going to wind up on top of him. Going to look for some more ground and pound, some more hammer fists. And Broad rolls over onto his back, and Travis is going to mount him here if he can get past that leg, and he does. Full mount. Big elbows by the Hawaiian. Brown with the full mount. Broughton trying to control the posture. Under 145 remains in this fight. Brown would love to have the energy to try to finish this fight. Both men exhausted. 90 seconds now. Brown trying to better his position. A lot of people booing here. They, they want Travis Brown to try to finish this fight. Rob Broughton gets it back to guard. Rob's only got a minute and 10 seconds to pull something off. He's got that right arm trapped underneath. If he can get his left leg over and attack it, I'm not sure what kind of flexibility he has. But for Travis Brown, you know, he's, he's not really looking spectacular in this fight, unfortunately. You know, he comes off that highlight reel knockout of Stefan Struve, and he wants to solidify himself in the top position. Look at this. Kimura attempt by Rob. Broughton's got the left arm of Travis in danger. Travis is in trouble. He's got a yank on his head. Trying to work that arm lots of time. But look what Travis seconds. did very smartly. He moved into side control. He got away from the legs. Broughton did not secure the body. And Travis did an excellent job of defending there. Now Travis is on top. And you know what? The only thing that runs through my head right now is that he's got to be exhausted. That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, look at is tough. I mean, he's no having question. a hard time following him as Broughton moves away. He's kind of stumbling with him. Although, Joe, as we mentioned, he trained in Albuquerque for this fight, so he was at altitude during his training. It's still hard. You know, you, you might get used to it, but it's still way harder than fighting at sea level. Look at him. He's got his arms over the cage. He's exhausted. Travis Brown, Rob Broughton fight the entire 15 minutes. This is a good fight for Travis Brown. And he had a lot of success with leg kicks, but wasn't throwing nearly enough of them. Greg Jackson was calling for it in between rounds. And here he tags Broughton a couple of times, but this guy, Broughton, is as tough as they come. And there's a nice right hand from the top position. He, he dominated him on the ground, controlled position. This is the only time he was ever really in trouble. But note Broughton's legs. He did not lock up a guard nor a half guard. And Tra Travis easily sneaks his leg out there, used that underhook very wisely in his right arm, and, and got out of danger. Fight goes the distance. And here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Travis Happa Brown. Brown remains unbeaten in his mixed martial arts career, 3-0-1 in the UFC, and here is Joe Rogan. All right, I'm here with Travis Brown. Travis, first of all, congratulations on another victory. Very, very tough guy, and Rob Broughton, you, you had a hard time with him. Yeah, man, people thought it was a step-down competition from Stefan Shu. Man, that guy took some of my best, and he kept moving. He's a very, very durable guy. Were you, were you feeling the altitude at all in this fight? I think I was feeling how big that dude is. I was trying to Albuquerque. It wasn't the altitude. Just a fight, you know? A tough fight, but you know what? A learning experience and a victory, and I know we'll, we'll see you again better because of it. Hey, Dana White, Joe Silva. Hey, y'all, come back even stronger. Coach Jackson in my corner. Coach Eric Del Fierro. All in time, baby. Congratulations on your victory. Travis Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Travis. Less than three years in professional MMA. And he is now 12-0-1.